Hello and welcome. This is Natasha from Intuitive Living Today, and today I have an Angel Therapy Oracle Card reading number two. And this reading is for a client that will go by the name of L. It's her first initial. Sorry, my chair's a little bit on the squeaky side at the moment. So we'll be using the Angel Therapy Oracle Card deck today by Doreen Virtue and it is 100% safe and positive, but that doesn't mean that it hides or lies about the true answer to a question. It simply has a softer way of telling the truth and offers advice for pretty much any situation. So today, Elle's question is, what do the angels want me to know right now? That's a very good question, and that's a question that I tend to ask my decks over and over again, especially this one. This one I do plenty of readings with for myself. And I like to ask, what do I need to do today? What do I need to focus on today? What do I need to know? What do you want to tell me? I'm constantly asking the angels what they want me to know, what they want me to do. And I ask for their guidance. So, Ellie picked a wonderful question. Let me just start off by saying. And first I want to let you know that I do a little bit of a ritual um, when I do my readings. First you will see me hold the cards and I'll kind of knock into it. And that's how I cleanse the cards of their energy. And the energy that they may have picked up from past readings. It will all be cleansed out of the deck. So that way you get basically a reading that... Um, a reading where the deck doesn't have any energy left over from other readings. Then I will consecrate the cards by holding them over my heart and I will say something, but you will not be able to see that because I'm sitting behind the camera and obviously the cards will be behind the camera with me. So next then, I will invoke Archangel Michael's protection during the reading and then I will... Oh, I'm sorry about that, my computer's going off over there. And then I will ask the question again and begin shuffling. Now I do have an extensive shuffling ritual that I kind of go through and it can take a few minutes. So I likely um, cut that part out because you obviously don't need to see me shuffle cards for a few minutes. After that, we will pick your card because this is a one card reading. So it simply means we're using one card to answer your question. So we'll pull that card, answer the question, and I will show you the card, give my interpretation of it, and we will go from there. So I will begin. I ask that this reading with these cards be accurate and specific and bring blessings to everyone involved. Please help me stay centered in my higher self so that I may clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine messages that wish to come through this reading. Archangel Michael, I ask that you stay by my side and watch over me during this oracle card session ensuring that only God's love and wisdom come through. So this reading again today is for Elle. And her question is, what do the angels want me to, to know right now? So what do the angels want Elle to know right now? Okay, sorry if the uh, camera is a little bit different, but as I was shuffling a card popped out and flew out of my hands onto the floor and I went after it and I hit the camera on the way down. <laughs> so the camera might be in a slightly different spot. So just to give a little reminder, the question that Elle asked that she wants answered is what do the angels want me to know right now? Okay. So here we have a card that's called Clear Yourself. And the message is, ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. 
Okay, Elle. So, this card gives me the impression that you're an empath, that you are able to pick up on the emotions of others, the feelings of others, their, you know, even their situations. You are the type of person that you can just pick up on energy so well, and it, it sticks to you, it clings to you. It's like cling wrap, and you may not even know it, or you, know, you just have a hard time possibly separating yourself from others. Um, it's almost like there's a fine line between where your emotions end and another person's emotions begin, or you know, vice versa, whatever it may be. And sometimes you may have a hard time telling if your emotions are actually yours or if they're that of someone else. Uh, for example, you could walk into a funeral home of a person you don't even know, just walk in, and you may feel just like bawling your eyes out because you're picking up on the emotions of others. I know that's how I am. I can just think about it and suddenly start picking up all these emotions that other people are going through that are in that situation. So, I, I don't know, does this ring a bell to you? Does it feel right? Does it feel like it's the answer? Okay, so what I'm feeling from this is that right now the angels are wanting you to know, because that was your question, what do the angels want me to know? I feel like they're wanting you to know that you need to basically clear yourself and you need to do this often. You are like a magnet and all of this energy is just rushing at you from everywhere. You may need to clear your chakras, align them, make sure that there's no blockages. You, um, actually, it's kind of funny because now I, now I kind of get this, okay? As I was shuffling, I mentioned that, you know, a card flew out onto the ground and I tend to be a clumsy shuffler at times. So it's not uncommon for me to lose, you know, a third of the deck to the floor or the table or whatever it may be. So I don't pay too much attention to it. Usually if it's one or two cards, I'll kind of, I'll, I'll take a look at it, I'll acknowledge it and keep it in mind. And the card is called, what's it called? I think it's called Shield Yourself. And that's the card that kind of flew out of the deck. And that card directly relates to this one because... Shield yourself is the protective element to this card. And I feel like adding that into the reading, it really is saying to you that you need to begin to shield yourself from the energy of others. It's not bad that you're an empath, but it's bad when it begins affecting you. And you need to learn to shield yourself from this energy. But right now, First and foremost, you need to clear yourself from this. You need to basically get you back. <laughs> all of these other energies are all over you, and you need to get them away, clear them, let them go, and hold on to your own. So, right now it's good for you to ask for an angelic clearing, and you can do this whenever you've been in some sort of harsh situation or anything negative, um, when you may have had even an argument with someone or feel like maybe someone has sent negative energy your way. But overall, I feel like you are the person that tends to carry even the painful energy of other people. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a moment here to kind of compose my thoughts, if that makes any sense. But what you really need to do now, what the angels really want you to do and to know, is that they're equipped, by they I mean the angels, are equipped to handle this negative energy. And your body isn't, okay? It's... It's the negative energy that really gets to you, and I feel like it brings you down. Maybe sometimes you feel depressed or that you just don't know, and this 
is not your own feeling. It's the feeling of others that's just attaching itself to you and it's pulling you down. Does that make any sense to you right now? I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of my words before I kind of start spitting them out. But do you feel like you have a hard time kind of telling the, the difference between your emotions and the emotions of others? Do you do you get that feeling? Um, you know, if your emotions change on a dime, it could definitely be that. You know, maybe one minute you're happy, and the next, you know, maybe you're just about to ball your eyes out, even though nothing really has happened. But your total mood changes. Your your emotions change within a matter of minutes or seconds. And I feel like that could possibly be that. You know, this card's talking about you picking up on the energy of others. And it's almost like the negative energy chooses to come to you even though you really aren't, you know, you aren't calling it to you. It just happens. So let me go to the little book here. There is a little guidebook that comes with the deck. And I like to use it to look through the action steps for each card. And I will let you know the action steps so that way you can do them for yourself. I don't have them memorized or anything. So let's see here. Okay. Sit or lie down in a comfortable position so that your back isn't touching any surface. For example, lie on your side or stomach or lean forward in your chair. Then breathe deeply and say, either silently or out loud, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Please use your divine healing magnet to lift any energies of fear, anger, or jealousy from my back, neck, and shoulders. Please help me feel compassion for those who may have sent lower energies my way so that they may be healed by divine love. Thank you for clearing away toxic, fear-based energies and entities from within and around me. Okay. Now, let us take a look at the shadow card. Now, the shadow card is something I throw in every reading, and it's the card at the bottom of the deck. And this can tend to add extra information to a reading or the reason why the reading is being asked. That made no sense. Or if the, if, okay, let me rephrase that. It can show either additional information in relation to the reading or it can show the reason why the reading was asked for. Okay, I think it makes more sense. <laughs> So the shadow card today is Archangel Raphael, and he is the healing archangel. And the message is, the healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. Okay, so now things may kind of connect together. Okay, so, sorry, now this is the point where I'm like really jumping into it. What this really is kind of throwing at me is that you are a natural healer. Do you do healing work? Do you do Reiki or any sort of energy healing? Maybe you help others clear and balance their chakras, whatever it may be. Relating this card to this card, it's like if if you are doing healing work, uh, shown here, then you are picking up that energy, that even that negative energy, from those that you're doing healings for, and you're putting it on yourself. You are putting it on your shoulders, carrying it around, and you need to clear yourself from all of that. And I feel like, um, you know, I personally don't do much healing work. I've really only done it for myself or for those really close to me. It's something that I definitely want to get into, but right now that's not my main focus. But I do know that there are many healers out there that make the mistake of taking on another person's pain, taking on their energy and not releasing it. I know that it's important to channel that energy out of the individual you're healing, but also out and through yourself. You have to get it all out of yourself and ground that energy. And if you are doing healing work, this is showing that you aren't properly releasing that energy from you, okay? Now, if this makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to you, I'm sorry, but you may also be just a natural healer. 
and you may be able to just heal people without even knowing it. Um, I mean, it may not be like some sort of major healing. It could be something minor, but it could amount to something major. But it, it's, it seems that people that naturally just can heal without studying it or whatever it may be, people that naturally just have that ability to heal, they seem to be able to attract what other people are wanting to get rid of thus releasing that person from it. So it, it makes some sense now. Okay, and this card, being the shower card, definitely shows that Archangel Raphael is supporting your healing work and he definitely would like to help you out, but you need to clear yourself. It's no good to take all of that on yourself. Now let me go in the little booklet here to Archangel Raphael and see what his action steps are. Okay. Archangel Raphael's healing energy is emerald green in color. Visualize his emerald green light surrounding anyone in need of healing support. Even if you can't clearly see this green light, know that you've successfully invoked its healing power. Okay. And now this may even relate together. It may even add up that you need to clear yourself and also not only shield yourself so that you don't take on this energy and that you can protect yourself from it, but you can also use Archangel Raphael's healing green light to surround yourself while doing healing work and to also help protect you from taking on this sort of toxic energy. Okay, I'm really hoping that that made sense and that I'm not completely crazy or something. Or talking about something that you may feel makes no sense to you and has no relation to your situation or your life or whatever it may be. I really hope that this made sense. So, all in all, what do the angels want you to know right now? They want you to know that you need to clear yourself from all these energies that you've picked up, um, especially in any healing work that you may have done. You need to definitely shield yourself and protect yourself from this in the future, but make sure to still clear yourself often so that way you can separate yourself and your energies from that of others. Okay. I hope that this reading has helped you and thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you and also for allowing me to contact your angels. I definitely hope that you have enjoyed working with the angels too through this reading and that you will continue because I know you said that you really haven't worked with the angels before but I hope that it will help spark, spark an interest for you, especially with this card. So if you are into healing or if you'd like to get into healing, definitely call upon Archangel Raphael to help you. And remember, clear yourself, okay? Very important for you. So thank you very much, Elle. And let me know if you have any questions, concerns, comments, um, if you need me to clarify anything for you please let me know. Thank you.